Okay, so uh, good morning. My name's Tim Munro. I'm the senior leader for formal curriculum and assessment here. But ever since I saw Ron Berger talk, first time I ever went to the conference, I've also been our whole education champion. I don't know if that's still a thing, but it's certainly thing I've taken very seriously. And the most public impact of our work with whole education is our whole curriculum. But I want to go back in time and talk about how we've worked with whole education over the last five years in support of what we see as our standout strength, our values-led leadership. And in the early years of our engagement with whole ed, we'd often feel we had little to offer and more to take from schools doing the exciting stuff. So we were blown away by School 21 and by XP, and we thought long and hard about project-based approaches at schools like Shirelands. So many of the things we saw were shiny and new, and they were enabled by building a school from scratch. So how were we as a school, an established school of 2,000 students, how could we stand out in comparison? And it's how we engaged with the education debates of the 2010s that demonstrates our greatest strength as a school. We recognised you could be a school delivering both a knowledge-led curriculum and one which develops young people of character. Leadership of this school at every level is rooted in a vision for educating the whole child that predates our joining whole ed, a set of values shared throughout the school. We do what's right for our students in our community and we make decisions based on the best that's been thought and said about education. Why do we do it and how do we make it work? Because we have moral purpose and we're evidence informed. We make choices for the right reasons and we build structures and architecture to ensure that we deliver on them. As leaders, we expect our teachers to pursue excellence for every student every day. If they're doing that, then that's how our vision for a whole education is achieved. So what do we want you to see today? Our powerful curriculum in action. We spent six years really developing our teachers as assessors. We're proud that we were ahead of the field in developing of a system of assessment that separates formative and summative assessment and that really focused on the provision of a high quality academic key stage three. Formatively, we talk about fluency and complete learning, our language for mastery. And we expect students to have fully learnt all of the curriculum content. And we expect teachers to know their students' learning gaps. Our summative assessment at Key Stage 3 allows students to go beyond their previous achievements and to beat their personal bests. It ensures as much reliability as one can hope for from such a system in a way that looks to minimise teachers' workload. So now we move on to our biggest challenge, our move from a six-period day to a five-period day from September 2020. And we've asked our teams to think again about their curriculum intent. We were inspired by Nina's visit to Goulburn High as part of standout schools. We found the way they expressed their curriculum simply and clearly to be the perfect way for us to ask our teams to consider the what and the when of their curriculum. We focused our professional learning so far this year on curriculum design and Tom Sherrington's highly readable book The Learning Rainforest seemed to match so closely with our pragmatopian approach to bridging the traditional progressive divide. So when you speak to teachers and curriculum leaders today, the outcome of this professional learning should be that they can articulate their intent, are clear about the knowledge to be taught and about how it's assessed, that we now all speak the same language of curriculum. But our professional learning goes far beyond our professional learning groups. And later this morning, Nina will give you a deeper dive into the three strands that make up professional learning here. You'll also see the impact of our engagement with whole education over the last two years. Claire and Julie this afternoon will talk to you about the impact of attending both the annual conference and leading a whole education and the impact that that's had on the development of our science and our geography curriculum journeys. And from our engagement with standout schools this year, Dave, who visited XP, will talk about oracy. We'll share our curriculum journey experience that's built on what we saw at Goulburn. And Kieran, who visited Matthew Moss, will share one way that we're working on intervention. 
And on this point, we will show you today the work that we've been doing with Year 11 in terms of intervention. And Kieran will inter introduce you to a group of academic coaches and coachees. But we believe that in the longer term, as students have progressed through our Key Stage 3 fluency education model, they'll be equipped with and able to recall the powerful knowledge that they need to succeed. And in Key Stage 3 today, you'll see how in English and Maths, we deliver a high expectations HITS curriculum, which supports the least able in being ready for GCSEs and beyond. We want you to see where we've given real thought for doing the right things for our students for the right reasons. We want you to test that our values shine through in every aspect of our whole curriculum. Thank you very much.